یہ بڑا ریئر ہے کہ ایک ملک مکمل طور پہ سراؤنڈڈ ہو اس طرح کے ممالک کے ساتھ جن کا اس طرح کا ویو ہو اس ملک کے بارے میں اچھا یہ ملک خود اندرونی طور پہ بھی ابھی سیٹل نہیں ہوا ہے جب تک تمہارا اپینڈکس پھٹنے نہیں والا نا یو کین ویٹ سکس منتھ اٹس اٹس لائک وی پٹ ٹو ہائی اے بار فار دس کنٹری آئی تھنک مہاجز ول نیور ان آل آف ہسٹری ایور بی ایبل ٹو پے بیک دی احسان آف سندھیز دا سندھیز آر دا ٹرو انسار اف دیر از اے ماڈرن ڈے انسار اٹ از سندھیز پہلے تو یہ ہوتا تھا کہ یو سے بس اسکول یہاں بنا دو یہاں بنا دو اینڈ دین یو ہیو فائیو کلو میٹر ایریا جہاں تین اسکول تھے اینڈ دین دا نیکسٹ ون از تھرٹی مائلز وے اور وٹ ایور So these things have happened. In the school conditions in the Punjab, there's like boundary walls, there's drinking water. There's a number of improvements that have happened system-wide that people are not acknowledging. The only thing that hasn't happened. ہیلو السلام علیکم بہت خاص ایپیسوڈ ہے دا پاکستان ایکسپیرینس کی کوز ہم آئے ہوئے ہیں آج ایک سیکرٹ لوکیشن پہ دو سیکرٹ گیس کے ساتھ سیکرٹ دنیا آپ سب جانتے ہیں مشرف زیدی بیس سال کا ان کا ایکسپیرینس ہے پبلک پالیسی میں کمیونیکیشنز میں تباد لیب کے فاؤنڈر اور سی او ہیں اور ان کے ساتھ ان کے دوست ان دونوں کی بہت پرانی دوستی ہے فسیزا کا پولیٹیکل کامنٹیٹر ریڈیو شو پرسنالٹی پبلک پالیسی ایکسپرٹ کیسے ہیں آپ لوگ میں بڑا دل تھا کہ ہاؤ ٹو پاکستان ریوائو ہو میں آپ لوگوں کو تنگ کیا پرسنلی میسج کیا آپ لوگوں نے نہیں کیا پھر آپ بلا ہی لو ساتھ آئی تھنک دس شوڈ بی دا اسٹارٹ دیز آر دا بانیز آف پوڈ کاسٹنگ ان پاکستان پاکستان کا سب سے پہلا پوڈ کاسٹ ان دونوں نے شروع کیا کیسے شروع ہے وہ گھر لے گیا اور میں نے ابا کو اما کو بتایا میں نے کہا سیکنڈ پوزیشن آئی ہے امیزنگ مطلب ابھی نیا نیا باہر سے آیا بچہ بڑا کریکولم مشکل ہے تو وہ کوئی ایک دو ہفتے بعد جو ہے وہ بہن کو کہیں سے پتا چلا تو وہ دوڑتی بھی ہم ابا کے پاس ہے گائز یو گیس نو بھائیز سیکنڈ یو نو ہم نے کھیل سے آر ان کلاس ون پھر بھی تو آپ تو کمیونیکیشن کرتے ہیں یہ جب پبلک پالیسی کے وہ آتے ہیں آئی ایم شیور آپ نے کچھ لوگوں کو ریکمینڈ کیا ہوگا جس طرح پی ٹی آئی اور پرانی گورنمنٹ کا کمپیریزن آئے تھا کووڈ ویکسین ڈیورنگ پی ٹی آئی گورنمنٹ ڈیورنگ پیریس گورنمنٹ کووڈ تھا ہی نہیں نا تو آپ یہ جب کمیونیکیشن ان کو بتا رہے ہوتے ہیں ہم نے ہاؤ ٹو پاکستان آئی ڈونٹ تھنک وی سولڈ آئی تھنک اٹ سولڈ اٹ سیلف اس میں جو میجک تھا میرا خیال ہے اور ابھی مجھے نہیں پتا کب ہم شروع کریں گے فسی بزی بہت رہتے ہیں تیرا نام بدل رہا ہوں بٹ آئی تھنک دا میجک واز ایکچولی فسی کیونکہ میں تو اس کے علاوہ بھی بہت یو نو سورٹ آف لائک آئی بٹ وہ آئی تھنک پیپل آر ریلیوڈ کہ دیر سم تھنگ یو نو انجوائےبل اینڈ لائک ایبل ہاں بٹ بٹ اٹس اٹس ہارڈ بٹ بٹ آئی تھنک واز آئی تھنک یو رائٹ اٹ واز ہے میں آپ سے ایک سوال پوچھنا چاہتا ہوں جی یہ پاکستان کیا ہے پاکستان کیا ہاں یہ سمجھ نہیں آیا مجھے آج تک ملک میرا سو مائی فیلنگ از آئی ونس ہرڈ دس دیٹ ون مائی کزنس از ان کینیڈا اینڈ ہی واز ان اے اسٹور اینڈ دین سم بڑی کیم اپ ٹو مین سیٹ ویٹ آر یو پاکستانی تو اس نے کہا ہاں ہی سیٹ یار لیٹس میٹ سم ون سی از ان ایکس کینیڈین ڈپلومیٹ 
in Saskatoon. Saskatoon is the pronunciation. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, nahi. Saskatoon is the city. Okay. And Saskatchewan is the province. Sure, sure. One second. All the The ex Canadian diplomat, this country is an addiction. Everything is so exciting. Everything is so crazy. There's so much promise. There is so much that always goes wrong. Honestly, I didn't ask anyone to ask anyone to ask Even Pakistan has become a genuine joy. This is the truth that Shahid Khan has been in jail. The entertainment coefficient has become less. At least there was a headline that came out. You were also like, what are you doing in the board in town? I mean, I think now, you have to give credit to Kakar. He is trying to try. Then, he is trying. You prejudice people against the Baloch. Every day he says something. Many, I, I talked to a newspaper editor one day, said, yeah, we need a Kakarism of the week. These are classic. Mujhe hai, kaun sa prime minister hai, who compared the events of Mayna into HIV. <laughs> because when he was young, that was the biggest thing. Na, ki your own body cells attack you. Then he has done. Uh, oh no, no, he current ka ek tha, and he said, yeah, I get a lot of physical workout in the bed. And I'm like, ha, na, wo bhi kehte hai. Na, Did he really say Yes, that? something along uh, those lines. Mujhe bhi no, ke his favorite hai. room was the bedroom, is what I remember. Yeah, but like, he Really? Tha, tha, what's your favorite down. bedroom? And the, when the question is asked, the first time I saw it, I was like, Anwar sahab, please, you're going to say library, you're going to say kitchen, you're going to say living, like, please, you're going to say something. And he went straight for the, the so even that was a little bit. Oscar, jo angrezi hai na, and the way he constructs sentences, I love it. Because he's always creating new phrases. Like, so if you asked him what's your favorite room, he'd say like the, the room where, you know, the nocturnal side of my personality. Have you seen Veep ever? I've seen Veep in one or two episodes. Well, like Michael Scott. Yes. Awesome. Anwar Kakad is Michael Scott. Like I'm just waiting for cutaways. And those who are our PTV Geo, they need to keep a gym that just Anwar Kakad will tell you something. Sometimes, the other thing I like, look, I love this word. I probably love this word. This is Yiddish word, Jewish word. Hutzpah. Ah. Hutzpah is like, you don't care. Sharmol bhi ho jai, right? You're there, you've got. So, aaj jo headline tha, I loved it. The economic program and most political parties' manifestos are not really well thought out. Dike, it's your job now to comment. Ke wo kare ke, yaar, ye kis kisam ka election ho raha hai? Tum logo ne tum ne tih nahi ki. And when they asked him, ke rigging kya ho raha hai? Toh, kata, yaar, ye toh khud multiple... ID cards, pe vote karwate hai, vote karwate hai. I just think I am waiting to see what his second life, his second act in public life would be. Ke, ab to log sunenge, he's, he's got the qualities of a commentator. I think wo jo, in zamane mein wo, I used to really like it, Express Tribune ke top pe ek quote aata tha. I think for the rest of his life he has earned once a week a quote over there. Kakarism of the week. Kakarism of the week. Say what you will. <coughs> I like Anwar Kakar. I think uh, I can um, give you my personal. No, no, no. I'm on a serious note. I think. Uh, sorry, I'm interrupting. Uh, Musharraf uh, these days is against the Moin Moin. He's just going to be a non Moin Moin. No, no. So I, I t personally, uh, I owe him a lot. And, and you like his struggle. No, I don't know about struggle. Uh -huh. I think, you know, people, everybody, I mean, you've had a struggle. Uh -huh. Shazad had a struggle. Uh -huh. Everybody has claims to a struggle. Yeah. I think the thing that I liked about uh, Anwar Saab is that in the period when we were running the Alif Alan campaign, uh -huh. there was nobody from Balochistan who was more consistently there. Uh -huh. uh, so at least on education, you know, every time we needed something in Balochistan, Anwar was literally the... That's true first in line and there was no expectation of any kind of it was just hey what can I do 
So I genuinely think whatever his, you know, there's a lot of quotables, no, no question. Like in, as a, in terms of what he believes in, what he's about, I think he's about the right things. I, I think he was put into a position in which you can't, you can't win. Like this is, you're not going to come out of this period of Pakistan with, with a gold medal. Look, you can read the White House White House's press briefings. Look, I'm sure those people are very competent. They're put in a position where they have to defend the American involvement in Israel. They don't have an option, right? Their personal competence, or how many people are there? He just raises sticks on you. No, it doesn't matter. It's their job. So, Anwar is their job. He's going to say, someone said, you're not a missing person, you're going to defend it. No, there's one thing that I want to say. He has no option. He's always been there for education. He's always been there for education. I think Prime Minister House will be asking about it. Now it's 15 minutes. But this is a good segue. There are a lot of people who are very competent. There was a time where Shaukat Aziz was the golden child of Pakistan. They were like, this is not a better man. One of the most disappointing Prime Ministers. So there is a problem. I think it's very easy for us to be like, all politicians are bad. It's bad. But there is a problem that people who are competent, who we think are promising, when they go, they do what they do. So is there something wrong in the office? Is there something wrong in the system? Are these uh, people just looking for that opportunity and are maybe not saying things which they truly believe in and only think they'll get them to the highest office? What's going on? I think it's a combination of all these things. But there is no doubt that in Pakistan, to do a good thing in Pakistan is very difficult. The ecosystem here, the young people or the young people, Usme jo struggle hai, that's real. Like it's a very, very steep hill to climb to try and do something good in any field. Arts, science, engineering, technology, drama, what you're doing. I, I mean, I've watched your journey uh, since before the beginning. Mm. And I know where you were. Ultrasound. No, uh, Joe, from the stand-up stuff and the transition. Uh, to what you're doing now, that's not easy to do what you've done. You, you didn't have, you had a lot of people that helped you, or both sari lungi dwai, or unki goodwill joe, wo wa bank karte. There's no question that if you make it in Pakistan, it's because people helped you. But it's also true that if you were doing the same thing in Switzerland or Sweden or Saudi Arabia today, you would have 10 times as many people and systems backing you up. You would have financial support, you'd have system-wide support, your infrastructure would work, people would get to places on time when they needed to. Up to the shop. Right? And so, who's the shop? Who's the shop? You can also take anything, you can open the shop. Okay, we can talk about Saudi Arabia. Come on. I think that all the topics where I have a positive point of view, there will be our discussion today. But I love what's happening in Saudi Arabia. I love Saudi Arabia. You were doing it, you were doing it, right? تیری تعریف نہیں وہ تو کہی تھا this is why علی آپ میں اکثر بتا ہے علی آفتاد صحیح پر بریلینٹ سیٹلز ہیں باکسان کو میں اکثر بولتا ہوں میں کیسے اپنے آپ کو بیچوں اور پیسے کماؤں اس لئے تمہارا ایک ہی مسئلہ ہے تم کہتے ہو جان جائے جملہ نہ جائے جب تک یہ عادت رہے گی جو پیسے نہیں کما سکتا ہے آپ نے کہ ہے ایک مسئلہ ہے you're not alone it's that mouth yes آچھا آپ ایسی صاحب آپ نے ایک بڑی انٹرسٹنگ خبر دی ہے کہ ہمارے کیونکہ الکوہل ری ہیپ نہیں ہے پاکستان میں تو ہمارے کچھ امبیسیڈرز ہیں جو کوئی مسئلہ مسائل تھے تو ہم نے ایک حل نکالا ہوا تھا جو اب حل ہمارے ہاتھ سے نکل گیا ہے تو اس زمانے میں اللہ آف یہ جو پرمننٹ سٹاف ان یو ایس ان یو کے تو وہاں 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 تو وہ اب ختم ہو گیا تو میں جو کہاں وہاں 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 یہ جو آن پاکستان ان ہاں وہاں 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 So uh, jokes on Kakar and all these people aside, I mean, I think they've done one, two interesting things. They're trying, you know, your pragmatization and things like that, which I believe need to happen. Lekin, it's so difficult here. For example, it should be a simple thing to have a census. Lekin, Balochistan, I've realized that the cities are more. 
how do you, the state does not have the ability to resolve that kind of political conflict. Because to Amani state, one thing we also don't know is how to, actually what we've incentivized is the state doesn't listen unless you protest, unless you get X number of people on the street. Sir, ye get, you know, another issue. And our inability to resolve these sort of things is why we put so much stuff on the back. No, ability is. But if you have ability unleashed, then you will say to me, tweet it and go to the Islamabad press club. You are saying that you are saying that the state doesn't have the ability to enforce its will. Yes. The state does have the ability to enforce its will. The state does have the ability to enforce its will. The problem is that the selection of when the will is alive and when it's dead is probably so that's what I'm needs saying, a lot right? of work. And also that you <clears throat> let any issue ferment to the point where it becomes so strong that when you do take action, you know, it looks and actually then the action incentive is to suppress rather than solve. Because <laughs> No, it's a crisis. 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 It's but because it's not legitimacy, we have to take care of this kind of issue. That we can't take unpopular decisions. Yeah, now that the thing will go out very quickly. But I think it's not escapable that this country is surrounded by difficulties. And I'm using the most important words of all because I don't want to trigger my friends to trigger my friends. But there are a lot of issues. آپ خود بھی کوئی کم مسئلہ نہیں ہے لیکن یہ بڑا ریئر ہے کہ ایک ملک مکمل طور پر سراؤنڈڈ ہو اس طرح کی ممالک کے ساتھ جن کا اس طرح کا ویو ہو اس ملک کے بارے میں اچھا یہ ملک خود اندرونی طور پر بھی ابھی سیٹل نہیں ہوا ہے ابھی ہم سندھی مہاجر کی بات کر رہے تھے اور اس ڈائنامک کی بات کر رہے تھے ابھی مجھے لگتا ہے ایک دو جنریشنز اور لگیں گی بیفور ویر ویلی کمفرمبل ان آر سکنز اور وی کن ہیو ا گو ایڈ ایچ آدھر not just in a comedic sort of way, but just as a, as a social bond, the thing that bonds us is making fun of our prejudices and our biases and our stereotypes. Even on this podcast, if we, we, you and I could do it and we get away with it with each other, but the way it's recorded, there'll be two groups and they will both lynch each other. So we have a lot of maturity. I'm trying to set up the, 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 the context. So we have a lot of internal social, political, system-wide, governance-wide maturity, that is a gap that we have to get to. But concurrent to this gap, so most countries, if they have a gap like this, they just dig in and they, they work to fill the gap. Here, in gap, you are literally missiles and jahaz which are bombarding you, you are bombing on the streets, you are bombing on the market, and it is coming from outside. Now, whose fault is it? I always say that if you have any sense of pride, you should not be blaming anybody outside. You should say that my own defenses should be so strong that I can do this from it. But realistically, I can't think of a country that faces this kind of both internal weakness and external pressure. So when this happens, I think that this is a very understandable thing that you have a lot of problems. A lot of problems, a lot of problems. So we have, we had 25 million kids out of school in 2014. We actually started fixing it. So by 2018, there was 22 million kids out of school. That's a big achievement because the new children are coming and are coming in the 5 to 18 gap, you have covered everything plus you have 3 million more covered. It was a huge achievement. After 2018-19-20, after the survey, it was not published. Now when it was finally published, it was found that it was 25 to 26 million children out of school. Now, tomorrow let's say that we start working on it again and again. Sooner or later, there'll be a cipher. There'll be a fight between either Bilawal Saab 
and the army chief or between Nawaz Sahib and the army chief or between Khan Sahib and the army chief or between Jahangir Tarin Sahib and the army chief, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever is about to come, we know what's going to come after that. And what will happen? Wo jo 25, वो सारी अटेंशन उससे हट जाएगी लोग उस फड्डे पे पड़ जाएंगे बीच में शायद ईरान फिर मिसाइल फेंके शायद इंडिया एक और सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक करे शायद अफगान भाइयों को जो है और ज्यादा जज्बा हो इस्लाम का कि वो यहां पे भी वही इस्लाम पे सारी मैं आपकी बातें मान लेता हूं अगर हम अभी रिसेंटली देखें بلوچستان में हम सब मान लें इंडिया फंडिंग करता है अभी ईरान ने मिसाइल मार दिया हजार मसले हमारी मुश्किलात हैं वो आते हैं इस्लाम बाद आपके स्टेट को रिकॉग्नाइज करके कोल के भैया आपके पास आ रहे हमारे हक हैं आप उनको इस तरह ट्रीट करते हैं तो अगर मैं एक बलूचिस्तान का यूथ हूं आई लुक एट द स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड आई एम लाइक ऑल माय कनेक्शंस ऑल माय पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑल माय अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट कुड हैव पॉसिबली एवर एग्जिस्टेड द स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान इज शटिंग दैट डोर ऑन माय फेस एंड इज टेलिंग मी नो यू आर नॉट एन इक्वल सिटीजन खान साहब आके यहां धरना दे सकते हैं पीडीएम कर सकती है टीएल भी कर सकती है तुम्हारी औरतें भी आके यहां नहीं बैठ सकती तो हम किस मुंह से अफगानिस्तान इंडिया ईरान को गालियां दें जब स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान ये कर रहे हैं अपने लोगों के साथ आई थिंक देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन दैट नॉट जस्ट आवर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ बलूचिस्तान एज अ प्रोविंस एंड द पीपल ऑफ बलूच एथनिसिटी आई वुड से इवन द वे दैट वी हैव ट्रीटेड अफगान्स ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स अफगान्स आर नॉट नेशनल्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान बट आर दे नॉट मुस्लिम आर दे नॉट आवर ब्लड एंड आवर फ्लैश एंड आर दे नॉट पार्ट ऑफ हु वी आर ओवर द लास्ट 40 इयर्स सो you know again it goes back to pakistan ka jo naam hai usme hum bolte hain a is for afghan hmm aur bangladesh nahi hai b bhi nahi hai pakistan to jo waqi hamare the wo nahi hai bada afghan pakistan ke naam ga is uh yeah look uh, as a as the grand child of uh, people who came here from uh, uttar pradesh and who were welcomed by the dharti and the owners of the dharti in the way that we were you're welcome for me no thank you <laughs> <laughs> no thank you because for me to be here and for me to enjoy the kind of freedom and the kind of alhamdulillah opportunities that this country and its people have given me is a sign of who we really are but why shouldn't the same opportunities and the same doors and the same love apply to somebody whose parents were born in afghanistan and by the way afghan refugees may 78% of them were born in this country so they literally unka is country pe mere se zyada claim banta hai ek tarah se so uh, जो चीजें जहां पे हमें शर्म आनी चाहिए उससे कोई छुप आई थिंक यू नो के उससे मैं नहीं छुपता इट्स लाइक सेइंग कि आज आपको बोलेंगे मुशर जैदी आप जो हैं यूपी चले जाएं आपके दादा यूपी से थे जस्ट मेक नो सेंस राइट सो द थर्ड जनरेशन कुछ लोगों को ये कहा जाता है तुम लोग मानते नहीं हो नहीं वो मैं प्राइवेटली बोलता हूं पब्लिकली बोल रहा है ना जो आपका मेरा और जुल्फिकार मिर्जा का व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप है उसमें उसमें हम तीनों ये बात भी करते हैं थर्ड जनरेशन अफगान ऑलमोस्ट जिन्होंने कभी जलंधर देखा नहीं आप जो ढाके उनको वहां भेज दिया इनके बाप ने कभी अफगानिस्तान नहीं देखा जलालाबाद नॉट जलंधर यस सर जलंधर जलंधर इज लोअर लोअर में भेजना माय मदर इन लॉ इज फ्रॉम जलंधर या सो इट मेक्स नो सेंस राइट वहां जाके क्या करेंगे उनकी सारी जिंदगी है बहुत कोई का फ्राइज भी नहीं खाएगा वहां पे सो सो दीस आर थिंग्स वेयर वी नीड टू डू बेटर बट इट डजंट मीन दैट because we've messed up this project and we've messed up this beautiful doll house that jana saab gave to us and we've let fungus and algae and and all kinds of viruses infect the inside and the outside it has two implications ek jana house ki destruction ko condemn karte hain hum acha main samajh gaya mujhe mujhe time lag gaya 100% main condemn karta hu usme main koi takalluf bhi nahi karta lekin but i think talking about the way we treated this country doesn't mean that we should pile on to the country itself because there are plenty of external forces that are not just piling on but actively killing pakistanis pakistani soldiers pakistani cops every single day to mera khayal hai ke piling on apne mulk pe karne se behtar hai ke mulk ki jo khamiyan hai ya jo kamzoriyan hai un pe hum kaam kare आई थोड़ी ये सीरियस ही हो गई हम सोच रहे आज लाइट हार्टेड रहे सिंस आपने एजुकेशन में और पब्लिक पॉलिसी में काम किया है जो स्टूडेंट्स वाली बात थी बिफोर आई गेट टू फाइलिंग ऑन जिसमें मेरा एक सवाल था आपसे व्हाट आर वी डूइंग व्हिच इज द कंडीशन इज इंप्रूविंग जेन्युइनली ऑब्वियसली अगर आप एज एन एब्सोल्यूट स्टैट देखें द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन दैट वी हैव आउटसाइड ऑफ स्कूल इन दैट एज हम दुनिया में को टॉप 3 में एंड व्हेन कम्स टू वुमेन एंड गर्ल्स इट्स इवन वर्स बट इन डिस्कशन में शायद जो 
पिछले कुछ सालों में इम्प्रूवमेंट है वो मिस आउट हो जाती है तो वट आर वी डूइंग राइट और आर वी नॉट डूइंग समथिंग राइट आई मीन इट्स सेम थिंग दैट मुशरफ वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोग्रेस फ्रॉम 2013 ऑनवर्ड्स इसमें आई थिंक इफ यू लुक एट द ओवरऑल प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ व्हाट वाज डन ठीक है वी लुक एट जस्ट आउट ऑफ स्कूल चिल्ड्रन बट दैट्स जस्ट वन थिंग उसमें दिस द स्कूल्स देयर देयर इज अ रिडक्शन इन द नंबर ऑफ गोस्ट स्कूल्स ठीक है देयर इज एन इंप्रूवमेंट इन द टाइप ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट्स दैट आर हैपनिंग there is a data set that is now available if you really want to look into it and try to identify pehle to ye hota tha ki you say bas school yahan bana do yahan bana do and then you'd have a uh, 5 km area jahan teen school the and then the, the next one is 30 miles away or whatever so these things have happened isme school conditions in the punjab there's like boundary walls there's drinking water there's a number of improvements that have happened system wide that people are not acknowledging the only thing that hasn't happened which is still something that needs to be cracked and it might happen just with time because abhi jo naye inductees of teachers mm-hmm. and they're way better than the older ones the older ones you can't get rid of usme bahut masla hai student uh, attainment jo hai na that is not changing kya matlab student attainment iska matlab ye hai ki like you know a kid by class 3 needs to be able to add a double digit sum he needs to be able to write a sentence this way wo wo nahi ho raha so now the thing is when we look at out of school children i mean the key is to get them in school but you can't sustain it because even illiterate parents will know that my child is not learning anything and usme this is something that needs i i guess there's a question now of how do you change that because we've sorted a lot of things but jo uska capstone hota hai is that the kid goes in and learns something that is still a problem So we've done a bunch of research on this, and in fact, my colleagues have started kind of paying more attention as soon as Fussy mentioned this. Um, and we're coming out with a pretty substantial piece of work. Uska jo short version hai, wo ye ke there's a learning nexus between a student, a parent, and a child. A student, parent, and a teacher. वो लर्निंग नेक्सस पाकिस्तान में ब्रोकन डाउन है उसमें ऑब्वियसली टीचर वाले साइड पे बहुत काम करने को और उस पर हम मजीद रिसर्च कर रहे हैं लेकिन जो अभी इन इस हफ्ते में ही एक राउंड हमने कंसल्टेशन का भी उस पर कर लिया है वो पेरेंटल इंगेजमेंट पे है एंड यू माइड हैव सीन दिस आज क्या सीखा थिंग बिकॉज वी आई थिंक सो वी हैड दिस हैश टैग आज क्या सीखा एंड वी रनिंग दिस पायलट सॉर्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज to explore how parents can engage with kids better mm. so on the point of whether the parents know or not mm. some of our research is actually quite scary in that parents don't know that their children aren't learning and that's partly why the lack of learning is persisting this is vaki uh, serious baat ho gayi lekin ye inshallah agle chand saalon mein isko bhi hum tod denge because there is a clear indication ke pakistan mein bahut sari amazing cheeze hui hain but kyunki hamara culture ek ajeeb sa ban gaya hai jahan इवन किसी और की तारीफ करते हुए हमें जो जक्सट पोजिशन लानी होती है उसमें हमने पाकिस्तान को गंदा करना होता है सो सो वी बिकम वेरी वेरी नेगेटिव इसको अगर मैं एक स्पेसिफिक केस में कर लूँ आई थिंक यू कैन फॉलो मी फॉर वाइल पब्लिकली इतना खुल के इस्टेब्लिशमेंट की तनकीद मेरे साथ शायद ही किसी ने की हो बट अगर ईरान मिजाइल मार देते हैं उस वो टाइम नहीं है मीन्स बनाने का आई एम अगेंस्ट द मिलिट्री इंटरवेंशन इन पॉलिटिक्स इन डेमोक्रेसी बट जो उनका एक्चुअल काम है उसमें तो मैंने सपोर्ट करना है ना अगर कोई मिसाइल मार देता है तो दे विल गो एंड आई थिंक वी डिड एज वेल अ जॉब एज वी कुड हैव उस टाइम जो हमने किया डू यू फील लाइक दिस इज समथिंग न्यू कि ऐसा तो नहीं हुआ कभी कि कोई और मुल्क मिसाइल मार दे एंड उस टाइम सोशल मीडिया पर जो आप पॉपुलर मीन्स या पॉपुलर ट्रेंड्स देख रहे हैं दे आर अगेंस्ट द मिलिट्री एंड देर अगेंस्ट देर एक्चुअल रोल एज वेल and i i don't have an answer to this kya kar sakte hain i want to say one thing to this right so i agree with you theek hai that's the time when pulwama we were you know i was that really made me angry because maine kaha yaar tum logon ne investigating nahi kiya directly such an escalation isme bhi i thought it made you angry be clear kyunki sunne wale ko shayad samajh na aaye ha ke fasi zakar the liberal pakhtun is saying what he say so clearly bol नहीं नहीं वो लोगों को वो हिंदुत्व ने मेरा अकाउंट फिर सस्पेंड कर मेरा वैसे हो चुका आई डोंट नो इफ इट बिकॉज ऑफ इसराइल पैलेस्टाइन और व्हाट हैपेंड अभी जो बीच में खबर भी चल गई थी इस रात के आज फौत कर गए हैं बिकॉज में ट्विटर पे कुछ नहीं या इट्स अनफॉर्चूनेट पीपल हैव रियली नो थैंक गॉड आई डिडंट सी दैट पीपल स्टार्ट कॉलिंग मी के आप जन एंड आई वाज क्या हो गया वो उन्होंने ट्रेंड कर मेरा ट्विटर सस्पेंड हो गया इसलिए मैं ट्वीट नहीं कर रहा नहीं लेकिन लेकिन इज इट स्टिल सस्पेंडेड आई हैव नो आईडिया दैट आई कांट गेट इन टच विद बट आई डोंट हैव एक्सेस टू इट 
इसलिए मैंने कुछ ट्वीट नहीं किया इतने महीनों बट सॉरी कंटिन्यू नहीं वो सो आई आई आल्सो हैव दिस फीलिंग लाइक आई मेड वन एक्सेप्शन देयर वाज जस्ट वन सेल्फ क्रिटिकल मीम दैट आई लव ठीक है ना एंड ड्यूरिंग पुलवामा नो 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 ड्यूरिंग दिस ईरान थिंग ठीक है ना एक बंदे ने एफ16 dominant masculine niche ke in all about to find out why we have such high inflation in yeah yeah that i agree with i think most me ek patriotic fervor hai ek no that i'm okay with yeah, yeah, yeah. lekin wo jo aur the like genuinely ke maar do ya ye hamara ye yeah, uh, somebody, location hai somebody yeah. said ghq ki ye location ah, hai right i mean it's that's off lekin ek cheez hai look you know sometimes hum dono bahut gap lagate hain and there is you know he believes that we need more encouragement i believe for us yeah that self critical but i also agree ke one thing that has happened is that it's been taken to too much an extreme to be kabhi gap lagata yeah i remember i was talking to my nana khuda unko janat de i was just saying bro kya ho raha hai kuch nahi ho raha he's like you have no idea you were here in 47 and seeing what we have now look we still have our be choose are terrible but they think you can still go and get you go to you know a benazir hospital and all these this stuff available yes it's but sometimes i also think that the historically england ke example they you want to go to the nhs you know mm-hmm. for if you are jab tak tumhara appendix phatne nahi wala na, you can wait 6 months it's it's like we put too high a bar for this country we are a lot of people our politics is going to be messy the one thing i do say is ke you say why don't people <coughs> take it because ek cheez which is a problem is if you want to take unpopular decisions you can fight the political landscape but you don't know ke if the establishment is going to use that to destabilize you and that is a massive problem in this country because these guys are not able to plan for the long term ke so masne hai ye woh lekin this is a big one mujhe yaad hai like 5 saal pehle when the whole one page thing was that it stops up there because sab role hota hai hybrid or har cheez it's actually not here it's very abnormal and i mean i believe our politicians have faults but they're also very talented they've done a lot for this country inko aap 5 saal de theek hai na let them fail ek aur this country will be settled 5 saal nahi milenge i i think it's time to be you know i'm so old now ke jo fairy tales hai na वो सुनाने के लिए दिल बहलाने के लिए तो ठीक है लेकिन फेरी टेल्स में बिलीव तो आप नहीं करते ना बट आप लड़े मरे तो जो भी कर रहे हैं अब एजुकेशन में गो स्कूल्स कम हुए हैं पहले पंजाब ने किए सिंध ने किए जेनुअनली इंप्रूवमेंट में भी बहुत इंप्रूवमेंट्स आई वन हंड्रेड परसेंट उसको छोड़ दें उसको होने दें वो कॉम्पिटेंट लोग चला रहे हैं और अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं वो जो भी कॉमेंट कर रहे नहीं मैं तो कहता हूँ कि आपकूमत को छोड़ देते नहीं हुकूमत को मतलब चलने दें द प्रिंसिपल द इशू इज नॉट द प्रिंसिपल द इशू इज द रियालिटी इन द कंप्लेक्सिटी ऑफ वट वी फेस अब इसमें हम एक साइकिल में जा सकते हैं कि लेकिन वो क्यों हुआ वो भी इनकी वजह से हुआ वो भी इनकी वजह से हुआ लेकिन अभी आप अगर देखें अफगान तालिबान कल ये खबर आई है अफगान यू नो न्यू सोर्ट ऑफ एविडेंस के क्लियरली ये एविडेंस आ रहा है कि अफगान तालिबान न सिर्फ टीटीपी की मदद कर रहे हैं बल्कि दीगर जितने भी टेररिस्ट ग्रुप्स हैं उनको वो एक तरह से उन्होंने एक अम्ब्रेला ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन दी हुई है इंक्लूडिंग बलोच सेपरेटिस्ट ग्रुप्स दिस इज नाउ कमिंग डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम कंदहार अच्छा अब लोग कहते हैं यार देखो यही होना चाहिए था तुम्हें लेसन लर्न करना चाहिए फॉर सपोर्टिंग द तालिबान भाई सपोर्टिंग द तालिबान का फैसला जो है वो कब हुआ और क्यों हुआ और किन सर्कमस्टांसिस में हुआ एक तो यह कि सपोर्टिंग द तालिबान एज सच नहीं था सवाल यह था कि आपने इनको निकाला है अमेरिका ने जब आके इनको निकाला तो पाकिस्तान ने कहा देखो कुछ भी हो जाए इवेंचुअली तुम्हें इन्हीं से बात करनी पड़ेगी एग्जैक्टली exactly वही हुआ और उसमें कोई प्रोएक्टिव सपोर्ट पाकिस्तानी स्टेट की नहीं थी हां यह था कि हम यहां पे जो तालिबान है उनको हम उड़ाना नहीं शुरू करेंगे बिकॉज वो हमें उड़ाना शुरू कर देंगे अच्छा सोने पर सुहागा यह हुआ कि उसके बावजूद के आपने उनको नहीं उड़ाया वो अब आपको उड़ाना उन्होंने शुरू कर दिया क्योंकि उनकी जंग और जिद्दोजहद जो है वह आइडियोलॉजिकल है आप एक स्टेट और एक स्ट्रक्चर एक फॉर्मल इंस्टीट्यूशन के लिए आप खड़े हुए दिस नाउ इज ए कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम नाउ वेन यू हैव पोलिटिकल लीडर्स मैं खान की सिर्फ बात नहीं कर रहा मैं नवाज शरीफ की भी कर सकता हूं जिस तरह से उन्होंने फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऊफा वाले समिट पर कश्मीर नहीं डाला था बीच में दैट वॉज अ स्ट्रेटेजिक नॉट जस्ट अ टैक्टिकल स्ट्रेटेजिक एर हालांकि आपको याद होगा आई वॉज फॉर हिम गोइंग टू मोदी इनग्यूरेशन आई सेलिब्रेटेड जब मोदी लाहौर आया था I have always been for engaging 
वो ट्विटर पे जाके चेक कर सकते हैं लोग अगर कोई In person, no, I didn't wear a tilak, but but I was like, this is this may be opening the door yeah. Yeah. to a new era of a relationship between India and Pakistan. Today, Modi's mask is like face wala. So, so. Today's ka har dal ki transferring karke. आपके एक एक आदर रह गया है कोई और. नहीं नहीं यहाँ बजे सही बात है. But uh, but I think. उसे ये सेफ्रॉन में था. वो वाला है मेरे पास. <laughs> और देखो ये सेफ्रॉन रंग की ये चॉकलेट भी आप रहे खा रहे हो आप 1992 में कहा थे आपके आपके ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स कहा पैदा हुए थे आई नो हम बहुत लिबर्टीज लेते हैं फ्रेंड ऑफ आर्स बट आपका इतना एक्सपीरियंस भी है क्या ईरान को पड़ी मुझे लोगों ने मैसेज बाई डोंट यू मेक वीडियो आज मुझे क्या पता ईरान में क्यों मिसाइल मार आई टेल यू मुझे मेरा भी यही एटीट्यूड है और मैंने इस पर इंटरव्यूज वगैरह भी दिए लोग पूछ इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड अगर कोई एक ब्रॉड थीसिस है इसके बारे में एक तो ये कि वो अमरीका को खास तौर पर अभी दिखाना चाह रहे हैं कि वो उनसे ज्यादा पागल है बेसिकली हाँ कि मतलब तू मुझे काटेगा बेटा मुझे मैं अगर तुझे काट गया मैं हूं छोटा सा लेकिन मेरे को रेबीज है तो मैं तो ये देखो एक दिन में तीन पे जो है हमले करूंगा सीरिया पे भी मारूंगा इराक पे भी मारूंगा पाकिस्तान पे भी मारूंगा अब आपने ये भी देखा कि पाकिस्तान के जवाब की वजह से थोड़ी चीजें सेटल हुई लेकिन मुकम्मल सेटल नहीं हुई क्यों क्योंकि जिस दिन उनका फॉरेन मिनिस्टर यहां आता है उससे चंद घंटे पहले अब ये एक स्पेक्यूलेटिव वो है बट सम हाउ अपेरेंटली समाइडेड टू किल नाइन पाकिस्तानी आपने वो देखी होगी खबर एंड द पाकिस्तानी आर फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ फ्रॉम बलोचिस्तान फ्रॉम भावलपुर अच्छा इसकी कॉन्टेक्स ये भी है कि नवाज शरीफ ने उस दिन वो जो पख्तूनों के बारे में बात की है कि वो खान साहब की बातों में आ गए इस तरह से बात हुई थी उनको लिख के दिया था नहीं अच्छा। मैं मुल्क को और हमारी कौमों को जोड़ने वाली बातें अगर किसी को लिख के देता हूं तो मैं कहता हूं लोगों को जोड़ो लोगों को तकसीम ना करो इसकी बातों में आया बस एक दो दफा एक दो दफा वो तो मुझे भी इन्होंने कहा था नो नो नॉट ऑल पख्तून सर बैठ जस्ट फसी सर वन तो हर कॉम में अच्छे लोग भी होते हैं अब जैसे मतलब माशाल्लाह यू आल्सो सिंधी बट यू नो यू ओके थैंक यू एक तो जगह ही नहीं देनी चाहिए थी इनको नहीं नहीं आपने यू रिपेड फेवर यू गिवन मी घर टूडे ऑलमोस्ट लाइक नो सो ऑन अ सीरियस नोट महाजर्स विल नेवर नहीं लेकिन इस दिस पॉइंट टू द सोराब बोर्ड एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज द सामान बोर्ड आई थिंक महाजर्स विल नेवर इन ऑल ऑफ हिस्ट्री एवर बी एबल टू पे बैक द एहसान ऑफ सिंधी the sindhis are the true ansar if there is a modern day ansar it is sindhis what they did for the people of up and bihar who moved to pakistan basically chasing this mirage and it remains a mirage it's a dream that we we st- and now we're chasing it together some are chasing it more some are relaxed and saying ye kabhi nahi hona but basically us moment mein i would say 47 48 49 50 there's no There's no equivalent human experience that I can think of. Just जहाँ इतने फराह दिली से और openness से welcome किया हो ऐसे लोगों को जिन्होंने उस culture को और उस ज़बान को और उस ख़ाफ़त को उस तरह नहीं adopt किया जिस तरह उनको करना चाहिए था. So I own that as a mahajir, and no, we can never repay uh, that experience. I mean, we can try. I'll start sending you invoice every month. <laughs> जैसे जैसे आपको ओवर टाइम कर दें कोई मसला नहीं है उसमें आ, हम पायलिंग ऑन का अगर ये जिक्र कर रहे थे ऑब्वियसली मुझे भी नहीं पता ईरान ने क्यों मारा बट इवन एज समी हु अंडरस्टैंड फॉरन पॉलिसी टू दैट एक्सटेंड जो उस रात थ्योरीज आई वो तो एडियोटिक थी एंड आई होप यू अग्री विथ मी ऑन दैट इज वेल दिस इज दिस आइडिया के जनरल आसिम उन्नी ने ईरान को फोन किया उसने बोला यार बॉयज मेरी पॉपुलरिटी बड़ी कम है एक मिजाइल मार दो हम भी मार देंगे मेरी पॉपुलरिटी बढ़ जाएगी तो ये a lot of people have started believing this because some bloggers i guess made it famous but the idea that you will compromise on your <laughs> air defenses and me, then iran me, me, this i actually this is really problematic at one level ye mere ek dost hai in the business recorder and he told me this many years ago and maybe i talked to you about it is it ke yaar this is like about 7 8 years ago ke hukumat aur reality itni complex ho gayi ki the pressure on people to simplify things is immense 
because that's you know if you look at ancient men thunder rain let's worship them as gods this is something that's part of our work ek zamane mein i remember jab uh, imran khan ne bhi kaha tha ki jab bhi nawaz sharif ko koi mushkilat aate hain india se madad aati hai bomb padna shuru ho jata hai and stuff like that right and a lot of people believe this stuff and i have said this multiple <laughs> times but this is my favorite thing ek zamane mein i heard i think i told you last time also the world's laziest conspiracy theory wo jo malaysian flight m hmm. whatever 37 tha wo ghayab ho gaya tha so somebody told me he says he says what do you think happened i said was the accident or was this is no it be the american state like what but what do they have to gain he says must be some strategic reason like it didn't even bother to think it out because it was just easier i have heard a complicated version of that story ke wahan pe unka ek base hai to netflix ki documentary usme ye wali theory obviously credible is maybe stretching it there is something to it so i think part of the problem with these conspiracy theories especially in the last 15 20 years is so many things that in time t seemed ridiculous a mm. reasonable people kehte hain yaar ye to ho hi nahi sakta phir t plus 1 2 3 guzar jata hai lekin jab t plus 10 15 aata hai to koi revelation aati hai aur pata chalta hai ki wo jo ridiculous theory thi usme ya to wo mukammal taur pe sach thi ya uske anasir the sach ke i think that creates to dekh le aapko main 20 saal pehle bolta hai ek pedophile island hai jahan stephen hawking party kar raha hai aap haste no uh, it's true no, it's like, no the wait, weinstein what? brothers uh, uh, harvey weinstein as as a basically a pillar of hollywood right mm-hmm. like literally a major pillar of hollywood so i think ye jo uh, conspiracy theories hain inka jo asal tod hai wo ye hai ke tahqeeq aur jo log inme believe karte hain unko shafqat se aur mohabbat se engage karna aur mantaq istemal karna i think masla ye bhi aata hai kabhi kabhi that i think a lot of so called expert types folks like us frankly have such a contempt for people who are not on this side of the camera ki yaar tum tumhe kya pata right like oh don't stop believing in these conspiracies so i think contempt is not a good way to persuade people if me i mean i i just think that the locus of power has shifted the locus of power has for at least 10 years gone away from experts okay yeah. it is now with uh, whatever the upper tier of the middle of twitter is or something else is power is there dusra ye hai ki ek contempt which i have sometimes like mujhe yaad hai ek dafa kisi ne kaha ke uh where is my lala get her money from so you go to her website and it lists everyone theek hai nothing is hidden um somebody else says something ridiculous where you can just mujhe yaad hai in the initial days post the palestinian thing people started celebrating स्टारबक्स की स्टॉक प्राइस इतनी गिर गई थी बट एक्चुअली इफ यू लुक एट द ट्रेंड फॉर एट मंथ्स बिफोर इट वॉज डिक्लाइनिंग एनी वे बिकॉज ऑफ लार्जर बिजनेस रीजन ठीक है स्टोर क्लोजर अदर इशूज एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू नो देर इज द एम्प्लॉज आर ट्राइंग टू कलेक्ट वाइज एंड ऑल दैट अब ये है कि लाइक यू से लाइक दैट डज इट मीन इन द फ्यूचर इट वोट हैपन बट जब the most easily accessible sources of information that are inconvenient to some meta narrative of how this was put together i mean it's ridiculous sometimes and i actually think one of the key things going into the future is how do we sort it out because one thing i've often said is like if i ask somebody like my father's generation tell me about it what a grand man what are this tell me about it what whatever you know हमारा जनरेशन के क्या मसला है कि वी गिवन आर एल्डर्स व्हाट्सएप ठीक है ना एंड नाउ वी नो कि दे आर नॉट ऑन दैट द फर्स्ट जनरेशन वुड नॉट गोइंग टू से दीस थिंग्स यार आई आई देयर इज दिस एडमिरेबल पीपल जिनका मैं उनके टाइटल्स वगैरह नहीं अभी मैं मेंशन करता लेकिन पीपल दैट यू नो जिन्होंने बहुत जबरदस्त काम किए हैं मुल्क के लिए but you see them on twitter or you see them in, on on what's happened it's like bro what just happened to you but i would say again never follow your heroes on twitter that's the new uh, it's true uh-huh. but also i think concurrently it shouldn't be contempt that is the the reaction i think it needs to be sir ye jo aapne baat ki hai ye aapne kaun sa youtube video dekha tha aur kya main aapko interest kar sakta hu isme kuch ye jo facts hain right like that's probably you might get contempt in response mm. and and again we, i think 
Look, if you're interested in making the world a better place, I think you have to be ready for a lot of sort of patience at your end. You have to be able to withstand a lot of negative feedback because people are getting jacked up on extreme negativity. This whole fuel of social media is not negative, it's not positivity. Uh -huh. right? So, I mean, aap, you know, you asked me about Bilawal, great, brave, incredibly intelligent, represents so many millions of Pakistanis. Ask me about Imran Khan, incredible courage, his followers, incredibly courageous. What they're putting up right now is a fight. It's a fight for the ages, has to be admired. Ask me about PML Noon, amazing. The fact that they were treated as poorly as they were 2018 onwards, and now they've come back with a measure of grace, incredible. A and P, to withstand the pressure that pressures that they faced, the loss of Iftikhar's son, the loss of Bilor Saab, the loss of Harun Bilor, and to still be standing, unbelievable. You ask me about an MQM, dismantled methodically by the state and still you know Mustafa Kamal is going out and campaigning Faisal Sabzwari comes on TV and gives interview Aapne, there is a way to find something admit, uh, forge jo Iran ke saath kiya jo India ke saath kiya jo rozana hamare uh, sipahi fauji jo hai wo karte hai. there's a way to find really deep admiration for all parts of society yeah, I think this, and is, this is a brilliant uh, strategy for all young people you have taught that keep your prospects open Hmm. Se koi bhi party phone kar sakti, sab ki karo. Absolutely. Yeah, deal Like I don't know matlab, when people uh, parties hai, Zaidi, abhi inko hire kar sakte. <laughs> 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 so I would what he's saying is I, I find it interesting, but you know, when you sometimes look into the science of how people make up their minds, how they change their minds, and how, um, you know, you need to engage. So the interesting thing is there is no set answer. Mm. Now, what you are saying is part of what I would like to see in society as a moral society where we can all live together with our differences. But there is a very large army of bad faith actors, mm. right? Just that I hear Joe Isna comment. That's a great example of a troll. Of a troll. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly oh, what it is. Sami gai rao na. Or maybe Sami gai rao na. But that's the algorithm. The algorithm has trained us to respond in a... Ab isne ithi ta... Nain. Nain. Can't blame the algorithm. Ultra sound me matla. But what he's saying is no, right. When right? he wo town hall wala idea ab khatam ho gaya. Haan. Nain. And the second is like... So, I mean, I remember reading there was this thing called the backfire effect. Right? Empirically, not 100%. Uh, it's not been verified. But what it does do is, and I've seen this, you have a position, I have a, and I pillory you with the facts. After a while, the rationalization is this guy will say, hey, I will take, in fact, he'll become stronger yeah. in this conviction. And it's because he might say that the, you know, material circumstances of this incident are such, but largely what I believe is still holds true. And it depends on who's saying it. You know, once I read this thing, maybe I've told you about it, but this was fascinating. I, I brought it up multiple times, like in Spain, they found Lashkar e Tayyaba sympathizers, researchers. They put them under a CT scan, an MRI, and they looked at their brains. And they just said at one point, okay, yeah, uh, you know, Shia ko marna buri baat. So the prefrontal cortex of the market, empty. Like, they were not receiving the message. However, when they changed the message and they said, Aapka jo ye saathi tha, wo kehta hai ke ab inko marna ghalat hai. So just because it was a message that they identified, it suddenly alighted. Again, there are a lot of caveats to things like this, but the, the key question is that, so I agree, this is what I would like, but ye jo hai na, there's a lot of bad faith actors. So in some cases, even I do admire people who maybe I agree with, like the way they engage, I don't like it. But they also have an effect. Sometimes I kuch lik leta and there's somebody who's like obnoxious. But I think that this is what I think. This exception I didn't think. And then you know you include it in your thinking. 
sometimes I don't want to acknowledge it to that particular dude because I know he's not interested. In, in a good faith engagement. In good yeah, faith yeah, engagement. Yeah, yeah. And I think you learned this on social media, you learn this on is social media. that not everybody is coming to you to actually engage in a serious conversation. So, getting hopeful end ki taraf agar hum leke jayen, huh. all these things exist, the algorithm exists. I agree that town hall wala jo idea hai, wo khatam ho gaya hai. Generally, yes, bad speech se, better response hi hai ki aap better speech dein, aap facts dein. I think huh. the state of Pakistan often responds with clamping down, shutting down, the hmm. Indian agents hai. जो हमारी कॉन्फ्रेंसेस होती थी सिर्फ जनरेशन वॉरफेयर वाली बट डिस्पाइट ऑल ऑफ दिस आई मीन नाउ फॉर माय क्लैरिटी सेक दिस डेज आई ब्रिंग एवरीथिंग बैक टू इजराइल एंड पैलेस्टाइन को जो क्रिस्टलाइज हो जाती है पूरा मीडिया प्रो इजराइल फंडिंग सालों साल इट वाज जस्ट सच अ कंट्रोल नैरेटिव द एल्गोरिथम्स द सोशल मीडिया कंपनीज देयर ऑल डिजाइन इन अ प्रो अमेरिकन प्रो इजराइल कहीं ना कहीं से वो फैक्ट्स दे देकर रियलिटी दे देकर द पीपल ऑफ पैलेस्टाइन हु वेंट अराउंड द वर्ल्ड हु जॉइन दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड पीपल हु डिड सम स्टेलर एकेडमिक वर्क वो वॉल ब्रेक हो गई है कि हम मिलियंस देख रहे हैं आउट इन द स्ट्रीट्स इन दीज कंट्रीज हु आर क्वेश्चनिंग द बीबीसी और क्वेश्चनिंग द सीएनएन सो मे बी वो इमीडिएटली नहीं नजर आता बट आप अगर जिस तरह आपने एम्पथी के साथ यानी कि तू जाहिर समझ नहीं आ रहा ये भी रियलिटी है सुन लो ओवर टाइम थिंग वेरी गुड पॉइंट And, and and this is a disturbing point the point is that if you go to cornell if you go to a number of universities they've historically had this thing where they're against empire and they've been talking about the palestinian cause for ages lekin this argumentation there's everything but even people like you and me we forgot about palestine for a long time hmm. like the emergency the urgency of it aur ab jo hai na puri duniya mein we're seeing this change I personally believe, like most of opinion, maybe we take out America at some level, uh, but Europe, me, the Muslim world, they all know that, yeah, this kind of stuff is going on. The kind of stuff that is being said is not able to be supported, and we, they're trying to say we are trying to prevent the kind of Holocaust we saw by ensuring that one happens now to Tigana, but. the issue to me is ke like again who the limits are unfortunately of how we engage i think it's a, it's a tough one and why did it need 30000 people to die in this fashion for us to wake up to it again and me personally like kabhi na kabhi like kashmir is out of my mind um a number of areas abhi congo mein chal raha hai hmm theek hai na and if you look at what's happening in the congo that's egregiously bad but this is something that we have to work out because at least ek zamane mein when information wasn't as it was we had a narrative a counter narrative we had a third force and lagbhag you could find out about all ab jo hai na it's become ironically now that everyone has the permit yeah. it's become much more difficult and uh, although to some degree i don't know how far the west can get away with this i you know usually i'm the guy with the with the optimistic or the sunny take on this one um, i might come off as more cynical uh first i think the israelis invented behavioral science and in terms of big picture thinking they're way ahead of anyone else in the world uh there is a method to the systematic way in which things have been happening uh it's not that 30000 happened and that's a static f- figure it's that 30000 32000 33000 go is on, going right? to keep happening yeah. how long will it last i think it could be several months or years what's the objective it's the complete depopulation of gaza what is the instrument it is western power that's the instru- it is yeah. not israeli firepower it is american and western finances and political support that's driving this do we admire and do we feel seen by every western voice that stands up for haq of course we do those in israel who are standing against us and there's very few by the way but those people are are heroes but without question but what is happening is such a moral crater on humanity that the idea that we should somehow cling to this being seen that's what it is it's being seen and a lot of us see that it's being seen at the icj by south africa 
by members of the media on social media and we feel like this is making a change actually the fact that it's happening so consistently do you have the same energy on social media talking about it that you did on november 10th yeah it's going down it, right yeah, yeah you don't i don't the whatsapp groups that i was engaged in the social media the, the articles so uh, october 7th ke baad, i wrote one two three i think i wrote four consecutive uh, columns on this and then my mind shifted back to what I write about, which is Pakistan circumstances. Now, do I throw Palestine in there? Not as a as a symbol, because I'm thinking about it. It makes its way into the. But it is not the principal object of my engagement with the public discourse. I, I want to add one thing because one thing that I have seen largely, and this is sort of like this whole thing about how powerful Israel is and all that. Yes, behavioral science, a lot of it came out from some Israeli scholars, New York, uh, elsewhere. Again, to behavioral science, and one of the things that we've seen so far is that behavioral science is working on inconsequential things that we don't pay attention to get certain decisions. Nudges, hum kyu kehte hai se? They're not monumental. They do monumental things. I mean, in this case, me, there is also a failure of the propaganda model. And like you said, it's being pushed down on force in the fact that the platforms for which voices are carried are being controlled. Because there are a lot of people who are losing their accounts or who are getting shadow banned X, Y, Z. But which I think, and again, it worries me that I think like this, is that I don't think there's going to be, this generation is not going to forget this. Because but it's not going to matter is what I'm, the, I, the I, cynicism I that matter, I, I think look, at, at the end of the day, it matters if there's a two-state solution with security and stability for the Palestinian economy and the people. I don't see that happening in the near future. It's going to matter if the genocide stops. The genocide is not stopping. The, the most recent proposal we've heard, I think it's the EU deal. There's going to be 35 hostages for 45, 45 days, days of ceasefire. ceasefire. The last time such numbers were thrown about, the hostages were, were, were removed. And concurrently, the ceasefire was being violated yeah, every yeah. minute of that. Yeah. And, and there is no penalty for Israel to pay. I think... When you don't have, and, and we can relate this to domestic politics, we can relate it to international politics, we can relate it to home, office, sadak, traffic, any circumstance. If you don't have punitive pain points resulting from bad behavior, you are essentially rewarding bad I behavior. I Israel and Palestine mein war khatam nahi hogi. The question is the American appetite for war. American galiyon mein, I think this jab tak, bigger leverage point which is at this particular time is the Middle East has refashioned itself in its pursuit of progress and where it wants to go diplomatically. And its aren't those all them. American satellite states? They are, they are. But the real thing is that... I, I, I disagree with that. I don't I, think they I, are. I, I think they are not willing to step up at the point where there is... You're talking about pain points, right? I'm not talking about military pain points, but it's even if they were willing to signal in word, in, uh, you know, let's say ambiguous, uh, you know, threats. It's just that there's such a absolute, like they've laid down right across the neighborhood. You, you, you and I disagree on this strongly. We've yes. had this disagreement yes. offline as well. The Arab yeah. states are more likely to attack Yemen than they are to attack Israel yes. at this point. Yeah, but uh, look, I mean, so first of all, uh, I think it's more complicated than this and I think that it's amazing that in a conversation about I'll give you the para parallel taake thoda wo juxtaposition samajh aa jaye kal wo apna shamsher jackson ya shamsher joseph jo west indian bowler hai usne kamal kar diya australia ko harana in australia it's a huge deal acha ab uski tareefein ho rahi hain ab pakistani whatsapp groups mein uski tareef ho rahi hai ek line ki phir दस लाइनें पूरा एक मतलब तीन पैराग्राफ का वो है कि हारिस रऊफ कितना कमीना है और फिर आखिर में फिर वेस्ट इंडीज की तारीफ हो रही है गाइस फोकस ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट व्हिच इज शमशेर जोसेफ की तारीफ करो सही कमीना अच्छा शोएब मलिक है नॉट हारिस नहीं अच्छा और खबरदार सियाल कोटियों को तुमने कुछ बोला शोएब मलिक इज इज अ चैंपियन पाकिस्तानी हिज पर्सनल लाइफ नॉट विद स्टैंडिंग अच्छा अब जो ये इसराइल की हम बात कर रहे हैं और फोकस इसराइल पे अब अचानक से हमने इसमें इंट्रोड्यूस कर दिया अरब स्टेट्स का अब ज्यादातर हम बात कर रहे हैं सऊदी अरब की और इब्राहिम अकोर्ड्स की अगर हम कुल के वो करें यार ये सारा जो हमला कर रहा है द द अटैक द जेनोसाइड इज बीइंग एनैक्टेड बाय इसराइल इन अ कॉन्वर्सेशन अबाउट इसराइल वी समहाउ अगेन फाइंड अ वे टू पॉइंट 
the gun at uh, ourselves they, because they're not the arab they no 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 we are we are nee, nee, so we are at least for me nee, we are broadly yeah, we have a fraternity I, if i wanted to stop what's happening to the palestinians i'm going to have to look at every lever i can use to get is it a lever bigger than us power no we, so, I, so how are you conflating saudi uh, power with us power it's completely different no, it's no, completely you think the different. saudi qatar and all these states kuwait have not been propped up Why? by american no it absolutely no, not they've been propped up by especially the, the, look okay so first of all uh, the americans should do the right thing because because of basic humanity and because they want to continue to be the dominant world power this this is actually a self interest conversation right if you want to continue to rule the world that in the way that you have over the last 60 70 years you have to enjoy not just military and economic power you have to have some moral standing and what the west is currently doing is it's gutting the ba- the basic root source of ultimately all power which is moral authority yeah. that is being gutted acha iska natija this is a slight segue ye ye distraction hai lekin iska natija jo hai wo muslimanon ke haq mein ya falastiniyon ke haq mein nahi hoga jo hoga wo ye ki ye jo moral gap ye vacuum khul raha hai ye cheen jo hai ye take up kar raha hai aur karega to isme sauda jo hai wo american aur chini power ke darmiyan ho rahi jahan pe musliman lives especially palestinians christians all palestinian lives are basically collateral damage in this game so so i have with this is that this argument where we feel that america has to look to its broader strategic self interest where the payoff of that thing changing on the chessboard regionally will take at least a couple of years us waqt to palestine issue nahi hoga gaza to khatam ho jayega the only lever that can work in the immediate term is if the middle east itself were to get together and say that this has gone on for far enough that is an immediate uh reorientation of the chessboard so if there is you mentioned yemen so uh, uh-huh. let and you also mentioned earlier iran so if there is a thorn in the ointment if there is a yeah. if there is a problem in this in this formulation mm. of the middle east getting together what is what is the thing that's preventing the middle east from getting together is it saudi arabia or the uae or is it iran it's iran 100% it's iran yeah. and iran proved that with its attack on syria on iraq uh, the support that it's giving to the houthis which is a total distraction which is not actually helping the situation in the genocide and then its attack on pakistan so who is iran helping now these conversations pakistani libs don't want to have Maybe because we've it's gotten accustomed to that no but we've so gotten I accustomed to targeting saudi is, arabia this just happens to be a fact of the middle east for the past 40 years since the revolution therefore okay. but even if it were just the sunni block that were no no it's not sunni or shia first of all i think that again pakistaniyon ki badi aadat hai ki hum saudi arab aur iran ka jo competition hai wo arbe ka aur farsi ka competition hai wo sunni aur shia ka nahi hai aur pakistaniyon ke liye ye intahai muzir hai ki hum isko shia sunni start of the podcast fine sir azadi pakistanis really hit themselves self critical and all later pakistani ka masla batata hu main kya ye log to नहीं ये लोग तो नहीं जब पाकिस्तान मैंने सिर्फ ये कहा है कि पाकिस्तानियों को ईरान और सऊदी अरब का कंपटीशन सेक्टेरियन तौर पे नहीं डिफाइन करना चाहिए क्योंकि वो नहीं है ये पहले भी कंपीट कर रहे थे देर आर कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट पीपल हैव सेंट लेट मी जस्ट आस्क दोस लेट मी जस्ट आस्क दिस वन दिस इज अ वेरी गुड वन फॉर बोथ ऑफ यू कैन डोनर फंडेड रिफॉर्म्स ट्रांसफॉर्म एनीथिंग और जस्ट डीप इन सॉफ्ट पावर एंड डोनर एजेंडा डोनर फंडेड रिफॉर्म्स कैन नॉट चेंज what needs to be changed in a country as big and important as pakistan is me ye ke like why is the donor so big in this country they actually don't provide that much money the state of pakistan does 90% of its own you know expenditure and all that hamare jo procurement rules hai if you need to do something reform or get somebody good or a super specialist in something we can't procure it so the donor gets it for you and because of this lukane they end up having so much influence on the thinking of what's happening and again like he also says is that you know reform needs to come up organically agree ab to ye bhi hai ki like agar donor kehte hai main 600 million aapko is cheez ka reform ke de raha hu hame dollar chahiye hum kehte hai theek hai so here's what donors are good for donors keep the door and the conversation about reform going yeah. when there's no political will so that's why they're useful when there's no political when there is going to be political will donors can fast track and catalyze reform in a big way i'll tell you frankly ye jo education mein jo positive cheeze hui hain jitni bhi hui hain from 2002 till 
1819 usme donors were instrumental but once the political consensus for those changes began to evaporate and we got distracted by other priorities in education and beyond we ended up losing the donors were still there but, but we also, ended up I losing mean, that moment without parvez ilahi and without shahbaz sharif that donor process could also that's what i'm saying ki yeah. wo wo paise were a top up on the existing commitment ki yaar punjab mein humne girls education pe kaam karna hai kp mein humne school facilities ko behtar karna hai punjab and then the whole country mein humne teacher recruitment merit pe karna hai ye faisle pakistaniyon ne pakistan mein kiye donor funding helped catalyze and make that uh, me, be but, more meaningful but i think if there is an undercurrent to what the question was by the person who sent it to you is that if it was entirely indigenous way back i mean of course it depends on things na ki usme polio eradication hai aur duniya ka interest hai usme ha so it helps maybe jo political parties hain they might not care about as much hmm. as the world does and i think aap 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 hi bata rahe the ki hmm. donors or international uh, organizations ne bada help kiya pakistan ko bahut zyada polio's story is one of pakistan but also of a real commitment by the donor i mean another great example is covid 19 because you had a real commitment you had really intelligent committed people in pakistan who were uh, seized by a sense of public service and and uh, mm-hmm. protecting public health ye jo donor wala sawal hai iska behtareen jawab ye hai ki agar aap south korea ki journey dekhein mm-hmm. vietnam ki journey dekhein malaysia ki dekh le indonesia ki dekh le kisi bhi uh, turki ki dekh le aur hindustan ki dekh le bahut donors ne in mumalik mein kaam kiya लेकिन इन ममालिक की जो ग्रोथ की कहानी है वो मुकम्मल तौर पे इन ममालिक की कहानी है सो सो कैन डोनर्स हेल्प दे एब्सोल्युटली कैन कैन डोनर्स बी हार्मफुल दे इन सम केसेस दे कैन बी बट अल्टीमेटली द फेट ऑफ बोथ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन ऑफ अ कंट्री इज इंटायरली द कंट्रीज डोमेन एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी थैंक यू सो मच डोनर्स आर आल्सो ग्रेट इफ यू वांट हलाल फूड एट 3 एम इन यूरोप एज अ realize over the past month thank you so much everybody for listening the only point of this podcast was ke how to pakistan shuru ho jaye so i'm sure a lot of people are like why are you stopping this was so much fun hopefully this will start how to pakistan again and you will hear this every week between the two of them and i'm and you'll be our first guest let's do it thank you so much for listening take care bye bye secret question list you have to is done up oh, 100 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. uh pakistan maps in this ka naam hai fasilist okay uh, take care bye bye <laughs> thank you